Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. So I wanna look at the second part of this problem. And so in the first part, the particle here went upward and was met with a drag force, right? Air resistance and gravity. So we have the max height at this representation here and the velocity was zero at the max height. Now we're starting from here. So our initial velocity is zero and now the ball is coming back down to a final velocity. So we wanna know what that final velocity is right before it hits the ground. Okay, and so as the ball is coming down, all the objects are always subject to their mass times gravity and that's always pointing down. Okay, but now the drag coefficient or drag force changes because the drag force, just like friction or just like air resistance, wants to oppose your motion. So if you're going down, the drag force is going up. So it, it wants to slow you down. There's things in the way, particles, and they wanna slow you down as you go. So now we have our air resistance, our force is in the upward direction, which is positive. Okay, so let's see how that changes our formula. So we start off with sum of forces equation. Okay, and so we know from the previous problem that x double dot is equal to v dv dx. All right, and so now we gotta set up our problem. Our, so this one, we set it up here. And so this is the most important step right here because if you get this wrong, then everything else will be wrong. So in this problem here, let's take a look. If we're at the top and we're coming down, this mg is negative because it's in the downward direction and this force is positive because it's opposing the motion. And so I'm gonna write mkv squared positive minus mg and that's all gonna be equal to m and this is a. So let's write v dv dx. Okay, so this is the most important part, the setup. Once you got that, everything else is a bunch of integrals and stuff. So now that we have this equation, let's cancel this mass, right? Because it's the same mass and let's move dx to one side and v dv to the other side. Okay, so again, let's single out this dx and let's bring everything here to this side over here. Okay, so we're gonna put dx on this side. So we have dx and everything that was on this side, I'm gonna divide and put over here. So v over k v squared minus g. So I just brought it over as one big thing. Okay, and then I still have dv on this side. Okay, so now I can integrate. So integration for the displacement in the x. And so now it's gonna be different because now I started at some height. So x h and then final is gonna be x equal to zero. All right, so the final is gonna be x equals zero because we're coming back down to a zero position x, but it starts off at some height. Then for velocity, we have v initial is zero because we're starting off at the top where the max height was. And so v initial is zero and v final right before we hit the ground is unknown. So that's what we're trying to find. Okay, so now that we have our integral set up, let's do a u substitution for this side. So we have u is equal to the bottom, which is kv squared minus g, du is equal to 2kv dv, and we'll divide by this to single out the dv. So we have one over 2kv du is equal to dv. Okay, so notice that this dv right here, when we replace with this, we have a one over two kv. So here is gonna go one over two kv. This v and this v are gonna cancel out. And we're only gonna be left with one over two k. 
All right, so let's write the equal sign. And for this integral, right, this V and this V got canceled. We're left with one over two, K, and U is equal to the entire bottom, bottom part. So we got the integral V initial, V final, one over U, DU. And on the left side here, it's gonna be final minus initial. So we're gonna have minus X height. Okay, so let's solve this last integral out. And we're gonna have minus xh, one over two k. And here we have ln of u, but we know that u is this. And so we have k, I'm gonna leave an opening where the v goes. Okay, this is final minus ln of k parentheses squared minus g We're running out of room here okay so let's get that final term or maybe close to the final term in there so we got minus xh okay 1 over 2k and here we got ln of k final and our final is v final so v final squared minus g and initial is going to be zero so ln of zero in here this is v final and so zero i don't have to write this term here and i'm going to only be left with negative g okay so that's kind of tight right there let's see i'm going to start writing the rest of it on here so let's try to focus our attention on this side so I'm gonna pick up right where I left off which is here okay and I have negative xh which is equal to 1 over 2k and in brackets I have ln ln of k v final minus g that's in parentheses and then minus ln of negative g. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this off. And final minus initial, so the properties of ln, I'm gonna put this one on the bottom because it's, it's the initial. Final minus initial, so this is the positive term. I'm gonna write one over two k ln of k v final squared minus g which is this term, the positive one, minus this term goes on the bottom. Okay, and then if I pass over the negative to this side, I'm gonna have x final is equal to one over two k, negative ln of k v final squared minus g over negative g. And then finally, I'm gonna raise this to the exponent. And so I'm gonna flip everything inside. So I'm going to have xh, which is the position height, 1 over 2k, ln of negative g is now on top, and k v final squared minus g. Okay, so these are just properties of ln. If I put a negative 1 here, a negative 2, I could put that onto the exponent. If I put a negative 2 up here, then this whole fraction is on the bottom. So when I flip it up, it becomes negative g over this, okay? So let's circle this. And this is gonna be our final height, okay? And then that is for this, the part that's coming down, all right? And so I'm gonna do another video for the final velocity right before it hits the ground, all right?